Ether, here's the thing. Ethereum's determination to move to proof of stake is an ill-conceived idea, and it will result in the inflationary destruction of the currency. Right. They call it Ethereum's difficulty bomb. It's not a difficulty bomb. Ethereum's difficulty bomb is really an inflation bomb. All right, guys, this is going to be a tough one. You might want to stay to the very end because I'm going to give you the reasons why this is a really, really bad idea. So I'm going to go through this. I'm going to go through it. It should be relatively short. And at the very end, not many of you guys last till the end, but I promise you, you're going to want to stay for this one because I'm going to tell you why this is a really, really, really bad idea. Here you go. Ripple co-founder backs controversial campaign to move Bitcoin to proof of stake. Now, look, we've heard this argument in the past. We've heard it come and go. Some of you guys remember me covering this stuff back in 16, 17, 18, maybe even maybe not 1920, but I mean, we've heard this before. Maybe I heard this even before I started doing YouTube stuff. This is back in like 2014. People were talking about this stuff, right? So this has been around, but let's talk about it. So the Ripple co-founder backs the Contra campaign to move Bitcoin to proof of stake. Several environmental groups. Okay. So this is where, where it's all starting. Several environmental groups, including Greenpeace USA, Environmental Working Group, as well as local activist organizations, have formed a consortium to launch a campaign highlighting Bitcoin's environmental impact. The first thing that you need to know is activist group. I mean, after I've told you that there are activist groups that are, in, in, that are supporting this campaign, maybe that should tell you something. Per Bloomberg, the initiative called Change the Code, not the Climate, will see the consortium run advertisements in major media outlets such as New York Times, Politico, and the Wall Street Journal. All of the mainstream media places that are always true, always truthful, and would never lie to you, ever. The goal is to persuade the Bitcoin community, not going to happen, to modify the network's existing code and remove its proof-of-work consensus algorithm, which requires miners to solve complicated problems to validate transactions and issue new currency in favor of the less energy-hungry proof-of-stake mechanism, thereby ensuring that Bitcoin can be completely hacked and completely useless just like Ethereum. No, they didn't write that, but that's just my color commentary if I were to write it myself. But, you know, then again, whatever. According to Cambridge Bitcoin Electricity Consumption Index, oof, that was a, there was a lot in that one. The Bitcoin network uses about 136 terawatt hours, which is more than Norway or Ukraine. In five years, Bitcoin may consume as much power as Japan, Larson said in an interview with Bloomberg. Ethereum, the industry's second largest cryptocurrency, which is a banking coin owned by JP Morgan as well as other banks, is currently relying on a proof of work too. However, it is in the middle of switching to proof of stake, which according to some estimates could result in a 99.95% reduction in total energy use and ensuring that it completely can be gamed, hacked, and taken over by nefarious and malevolent individuals but it already has because you guys already knew that. But anyway, Larson denies anti-Bitcoin approach. According to Larson, should the leading cryptocurrency make a similar move, which will require either a soft fork or a hard fork, it could solve the leading cryptocurrency's alleged power consumption issues. And that's so important here because you have a radicalized group. No, oh, sorry, I didn't say that. An activist group that wants to change Bitcoin from a proof of work to proof of stake terrible idea and the uh, they are doing it because they have alleged power consumption issues alleged quote now with ethereum changing bitcoin really is the outlier and that's probably what makes it exceptionally special larson told bloomberg some of the newer protocols solana cardano are built on low energy well Cool. Larson also denied that change the code, not the climate campaign is anti-Bitcoin. Quote, if I was concerned about Bitcoin as a competitor, probably the best thing I could do is let it continue on this path, as you should, Larson. This is just an unsustainable path. Your opinion, wrong. Larson further revealed the decision to fund the campaign partly came due to him feeling that investors may turn away from Bitcoin unless there's a change. 
No. 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 This is just politics at the end of the game. At the end of the day. Adding that he wants to see both Bitcoin and Ethereum succeed. Whether the campaign succeeds is a big question, though. The network's environmental impact has been a subject of debate for many years and, unfortunately, in many cases, debunked. However, the growing community of devotees, also known as acolytes, a pro uh, yes, acolytes, uh, including miners and developers, so far rejected any proposed changes by the system designed by Satoshi Nakamoto, the anonymous inventor of Bitcoin. So let me give you my personal reply because the author of this particular article doesn't actually give you his opinion. He's just telling you, which actually as a good journalist, he is actually a good piece of journalism because it doesn't give his opinion. But that's why I'm not a journalist. I'm going to give you my opinion. Let's go. So proof of work can never go away. It can never go away. What's important to know here, guys. Why is proof of work far superior to? I, I talked about this in my the other thing, proof of work versus proof of stake, but I'm going to give you even more details here. What makes proof of work so amazing, guys, is the database entry is the asset. The database entry is the asset. There's no obfuscation. There's no uh, there's no abstraction of value here. The entry itself in the database is the value. The miners are the physical anchoring of work being done in search of the value. And so you have to have cost. I talked about this in my other video, guys, right? People buy these miners. This miner has cost associated with it to have the work done to mine the Bitcoin. It's so important. And these miners are all over the world. These miners are anchoring the value of the work being done all over the world. There's a cost associated to this value function, okay? There's a cost. If I want to make money, I got to buy some hardware, I got to connect it up, and I got to spend energy, electricity cost, to earn it. There's a good trade there. I'm spending money to earn value. And the significant cost requirement is what exactly is exactly what proof of stake doesn't have, guys. Like, don't I'm not saying that all coins and all tokens that are proof of stake are not good. I'm just saying that proof of stake is not as safe as proof of work. Proof of work is the most superior safety mechanism ever devised um, to ensure the longevity, the security, the immutability uh, of this protocol. That's why it's so important. So proof of stake doesn't have this significant work requirement, this significant cost requirement. There is no cost to staking. There is no cost to creating a database entry. The database entry in proof of work Bitcoin is you got to spend money to get that database entry. In proof of stake, it's all software. There's, there's you, anybody. I just saw you. Got you guys saw Will Smith. You guys saw Will Smith smack Chris, Chris, whatever his name is, he's Tucker. I don't know. It's not Chris Tucker. Chris Willis. Chris. I don't know his name. Anyway, you saw Will Smith smack a guy. There's already a meme coin, a proof of work meme coin that was created like a day later not 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 more than 48 hours later there's a new proof of stake meme coin created this will smith you can look it up it's crazy so there is no physical anchoring of work it's just guys behind a computer who said oh, okay now you, you you can make coins right and since creating a database creating a database isn't work so punishment of bad actors in proof of stake is only a function if we agree to what the state of the blockchain is. And so with software, you can disagree all you want. You can actually mine blocks um, and, and take over a system and you can mine blocks, you can mine a thousand, 10,000 blocks before you even let anybody know, right? And so if, if Ethereum, if, here's the thing. Ethereum's determination to move to proof of stake is an ill-conceived idea and it will result 
in the inflationary destruction of the currency. Right. They call it Ethereum's difficulty bomb. It's not a difficulty bomb. Ethereum's difficulty bomb is really an inflation bomb. So what's the TLDR? What's the TLDR here, guys? If it's zero cost to earn it, then there's zero value. If the token doesn't actually have any work or cost associated with earning the value, then the value output is zero. I hope that makes sense, guys. Proof of stake is just nerds like me behind a computer creating code and saying it's valuable, it's validated. Right? With proof of work, you actually got to put money in. You got to put effort in. That is why Bitcoin should always be proof of work. And like I said here, it, 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 maybe I breezed through it too fast, but Ethereum's determination to go to proof of stake will ensure that Ethereum will be an inflationary asset to its own destruction and demise. You let me know if you disagree with me. Hit me up in the comments. Smash the like button. Bad idea. 